I have spent 43,500 hours learning about money, finance, wealth, tax through a finance degree, an MBA from a top 20 business school in the world, investing in real estate, investing in the stock market, and being a controller, managing hundreds of millions of dollars and putting in place procedures for billions of dollars. Here's everything I learned distilled in seven strategies that you can take and apply today. Number one, believe that you can actually become a millionaire. You can actually become a millionaire mathematically. It's absolutely possible. It's doable. And it only takes a few hundred dollars a week, even less than that. And the math and the strategy is proof. But you have to actually believe that you will become one. At the end of the day, it's not the million because we don't want the paper for the paper. We want the lifestyle that the funds can bring us. We want the freedom that the funds can bring us. The freedom of time, the freedom of money, the freedom of location, the freedom of choosing to do whatever you want, whenever you want. That's what the money brings. So not for the million itself, but for the lifestyle that you crave and deserve. You do not have to be a star. You don't have to be something that is special or incredible to become a millionaire. You can. So believe that you can and you will. Number two, surrounding yourself with the right people. You don't want the Debbie Downers, the naysayers, those that project their fears, their insecurities, their lost dreams, them giving up their hopes and their dreams just to settle for a life that they actually don't enjoy. Do not surround yourself with those people. And if you are around people like this, walk away. I remember when I came in the U.S., I was with this group of people that every time I would meet, they would talk bad about their husbands. They would gossip, they would complain. And I took a hard look at who am I becoming and who am I going to become if I stay around and listen and participate in these types of discussions? What kind of person would I be exposing myself to these types of environments if we do not consciously select the people that we want to be around, the people that we want to be like, the people that are striving for more, that want more, more out of life, more out of their health, more out of becoming the best version of themselves, more helping others, more having an impact in the world, then we're going to stay stuck where we are. But if we shift that environment, that network, then we will become what our environment is. Actually, there have been studies done. The result of those studies show that you become who you hang around with. And yes, it's an old adage, show me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Because even statistically, that is true. Go through your list of friends and cross the ones that are not aligning with your future or seek out people that do align with your goals of where you want it to be. And you might be thinking, I don't have people like this. Where do I find them? I'm surrounded by the current environment. Well, first step, cut the people that are naysayer, doubters, pull you back, hold you down. That's dead weight that you need to get it off your shoulders so that you can travel lighter into your prosperous life. And then seek out groups, organizations, go to meetouts, conferences. And as a matter of fact, since you are here, and if you are interacting with these videos and commenting, many of the people that are going to comment are wanting to go in the same direction that you are going. Here it is, the area and the atmosphere that you want to be in. And if in the beginning is just this YouTube channel and in the beginning is just the online world, then let it be because that's how I started. I didn't have that many people that I knew at the time that would be wealthy and be where I wanted to be. But I started with what I had and adding through the channels that I had available at the time, people that encourage me, that cheer me, that support me, and that challenge me to be more than I am today. Number three is plan your success. Otherwise, you're planning to fail. You have to have a clear plan of how you are going to get where you need to get. Now, you might not have all of the scenarios. You might not have all of the answers. You might not have all of the steps, but at least a clear plan. 
And when it comes to money and wealth is making sure that you have the right mindset, that you're working on the mindset, that you're crossing out the limiting beliefs and that you're getting in your money and you're starting to manage it wisely. You're managing what comes in, what goes out, what are the money drainages, which things are going out the door from your paycheck and your income that shouldn't be. Align the money that you have with the actual values that you have, not just draining it away. So where are you going to invest? And then if you're afraid of risk, if you're afraid of losing, then educate yourself in the investing vehicles like stock market, real estate, business, and invest in yourself so that you can understand and have the knowledge of these investment vehicles and then make an educated decision. So if you're going into the stock market, if you learn it, you will have less feelings of it's risky, I'm losing everything. It's because now you're making an educated decision. Now you know the probability of the market swings. Now you know the performance of the market for the past 100 years. Now you know which investments in the stock market are more risky and which are less risky, but which combination works for you. Educate yourself, continue growing and continue learning so you can make the decisions that you are confident in and that gets you closer to your goal of becoming prosperous in life, wealthy, abundant, and free. Number four is it's not the money you accumulate, it's the person that you become. When you started the journey towards getting a job, you had to become a certain person to get the job that you got. And if the job started you at 60,000, 70,000, 100,000, you had to become the value that you are going to get paid for. You had to learn skills like how to get your resume up to par, how to get your interview skills up to par, how to communicate clearly, how to interact with people, how to network, how to learn certain strategies, processes, and procedures from the university degree to get you to the job or the business that you have gotten. But to get you to the next level, it's different. You need to become a different person. You need to become a better version of yourself, a better communicator, a better networking person, a better person that thinks strategically, that thinks in frameworks, that has process-oriented mindset, that you become more generous, that you become more empathetic. So there's a certain amount of skills and knowledge and development that it goes into becoming the next best version of you. It's not so much about the millions, although they give you the freedom, which that's what we all want. We want the lifestyle that it comes with the money but it's the person that you become in the process. And all those skills that you accumulated, all those things that you have gained to get to the million, if anything happens, and if the world goes in the direction they never expected, not a shutdown or whatever it is, and by any chance you lose the money that you have accumulated, you can now rebuild it better and faster because of the person that you became in the process, because of the skills because of the frameworks, because of the mindset that you have developed to where now you know what to do. Now you have those things. Think about it. When you build a house, if you start with zero tools and nothing and you accumulate a tool every single time and it takes you longer because you might do some without a tool and some with the tool, but by the end you build a house, you have a whole set of tools in your toolbox. Now, if that house gets destroyed by a hurricane or by a natural disaster, you have the skills, you have the knowledge, you have the tools, you have what it takes, you know what tools to use and when to use it to rebuild that house bigger and better and faster. So it's not about the actual million, it's who you become. Do it for the person that you will become because you are becoming the best version of yourself. And that's the most amazing thing that you can do to yourself in life and to all of those around you who love you. Number five, almost 90% of millionaires are self-made. 
even though we would like to think that millionaires come from inheriting money or having a trust fund, yes, a small percent might inherit some money, but 90, 90% are self-made. And 90% of self-made millionaires should give you the hope, the drive, and the inspiration that you can do it too. They were no different. What they did is that they set the goal. They believed they could, so they did. And so do you. You are now doing it too because you're watching this video. You are now taking a step further in your life to actually move closer to the goals of becoming wealthy and becoming financially free. Which brings me to number six, mindset and the talk you have in your head builds you or breaks you. If you constantly talk to yourself, I can't do it. It's not possible. It's inherited money. I don't have what it takes. I don't have enough money. That's exactly where you're going to stay stuck. You have to change the talk that goes into your head. You have to control that. Our minds run a million miles an hour and whatever we feed it, that's what is going to come out into our life. But the Bible said, and I'm going to paraphrase this, whatever you think becomes what you speak and what you speak becomes your life. You, you need to start with becoming aware of the thoughts and the conversation that goes into your head and writing down all of those negative things, all the stuff that is holding you back. And then after you've wrote everything that is going to your mind and holding you back, Go back and scratch the ones that you don't want anymore in life. And then write down another list of the things that you want in life, the things that you want to become in life. Imagine you're a five-year-old and you're talking to a five-year-old. Would you talk to a five-year-old like, look, you're a loser. You're a complete waste of time. You're dumb. You don't know anything about money. No, you wouldn't do all those things. The way you would talk to a child is you will encourage, hey, you can do this. If you try, if you just put your mind to, if you follow the steps, if you just go after it, you can do that. You can learn. You're not dumb. You just need to learn. It's not that you're bad with money. You just need to acquire the skills. That's how we'll talk to a five-year-old child. Well, I want to encourage you to think every time that talk goes on into your head, recognize that you're talking to your self at five and change that talk and conversation for how would you encourage love and care for the five-year-old. So your mindset breaks you or builds you. Choose to build yourself up, not to tear yourself down. And along with that comes number seven, which is raise the bar and don't settle. If you want a better life, then demand out of yourself a better life. If you want better friendships, then demand you out of yourself to go after better relationships. If you want a better job, if you want a bigger business, then demand of yourself to go after. Don't talk negative to yourself, but demand in a positive way to go after. You deserve to be financially free. You deserve to take good care of your health and have all the organic food that you want. You deserve to live in a house that you dream of because that will give you peace and where you can nurture your family and where you can build memories because that's what life is all about, is the experience, the joy. You deserve to impact many people's lives. You deserve to change their life. You deserve to be that person that you wish you had when you were young that would come into your life and speak positive and speak hope and speak promise and speak your destiny into you. You deserve to be that person now to someone else. So don't let your self to stop you from that. Raise the bar. Don't settle for a life that you wake up in the morning, go through the routine, come to home at night, binge watch Netflix, and then you feel bad about the way yesterday went, but there's nothing that you do about it and, and go do it again tomorrow. Don't do that. You deserve to be a change. You deserve to be a life that is impactful to you, to everyone around you, to those that you love, and to be a gift to this world.